Our first guest tonight is a multi-talented and multi-octave performer whose talk show was just renewed for a third season. You can watch The Jennifer Hudson Show every weekday in syndication. Please welcome Jennifer Hudson. <laughs> Hey, you were at the, uh, like, about 10 days, 11 days ago, you were at the NBA uh, Celebrity All-Star Game. Yes. You played in the game. I did. Yeah. How was that? You know what? My knees are so sore right now. Are they? Yeah, they just see me. I said, I don't know if I'm making it out here in these shoes. <laughs> With these knees. Uh, have you played? Not in high heels. OK, well, yeah. don't do that. Don't I coached look. the team once, yeah. Did which. You? I didn't do much you coaching, did? I'll be honest. Uh, I was the assistant coach. OK. And uh, Magic was the head coach. And uh -oh. uh, Magic did not listen to any of my suggestions. OK, because Lil Wayne was our assistant oh, coach. Oh, Lil Wayne was your? Yes, he was. And he came in probably about the end of the game. Oh, he did, yeah. <laughs> yes, but I was still excited <laughs> to have him as an assistant coach. And then I got to be, I'm still trying to remember the name of it, the captain of the team. You were the captain of the team? Yes, at least I tried to be, because I tried to play a little bit, but I didn't get too far. How long did you play? Uh, let's see. I played for about three minutes, but I trained for a whole month, which is why you my knees... You took it seriously. But I took it so seriously. I did four on four games, full court, suicides. Now my knees done died on me, and I could barely get out here. And then when the game came... Let me sit up for you. Listen, child, I ran out there for three minutes, OK? And then I was like, OK, y'all can take me out the game. And then Stephen A was the captain. He's like, Jennifer, we want to go back in. I said, baby, don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. And then when we got to halftime, I was hungry. I wanted a sandwich. <laughs> and Asia, Asia, the basketball player, was like, Jennifer, you're in the starting lineup. You're supposed to be out there. I'm like, what? I'm trying to eat, baby. I ain't trying to play no more games. <laughs> and I brought my son and all his cousins, because I always take them. I call it Camp David. And they was excited to see me play. Yeah. So they like, get back in the game. I'm like, mm, babe, don't worry about that. I'm OK. <laughs> and Stephen A like, when you go, want to go back in? I said, just throw me in for the last few minutes so I could run around for the kids. Uh -huh. But I never touched the ball. You did have a sandwich, though, huh? You I never had a good the sandwich, ball? though. <laughs> yes. Did they neglect to pass the ball to you, or you just didn't want it? Well, I did want it, but I never got to the ball, and the ball never got to me. Can I say, I, I, I sense there might be an issue. Um, well, I saw this video it? now. This is with your son here <laughs> during the warm-ups before the game. Let's take a that look. That part. <laughs> your team is down there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's, that's one of the... It's, it's hard to remember which team they are. He was my other coach. Thank God he was there, because <laughs> when they tipped the ball, I was like, oh, my God, how do you know which side your court is on, which side your team is on? You know, all the players have. LeBron, he, like, when he's playing, he doesn't know if he's with the Lakers or the Heat or the Cavaliers. <laughs> he just goes... They didn't tell us. Maybe if Lil Wayne had been on time, I would have known. But look, I took my nails off for the game. I was serious, y'all. Yeah, yeah. But I just want my knees to return back to normal. That's I all love I that Lil Wayne arrived <laughs> for the game in the fourth quarter. I guess it's a good that he isn't a professional athlete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I would imagine his, like, uh, him drawing up a play might be a little hard to follow. Yeah, no, I didn't see him draw nothing. Then. Yeah, no, you're going <laughs> Then you performed at the NBA All-Star Game, the I professional did. game. You performed at, what, halftime of the game, Yes, right? I did. Yeah. That had, oh, your son must have loved that. You know what? For them to get to see me, like, actually perform and be a part of the game is different because we always go every year. So for him to be able to see that and experience that, we got to experience it a different way. And it was also the anniversary of my late brother's birthday, so that's how we celebrate it every year. And this ah. year, I decided I was going to play in the game in oh. honor of him and for my kid. And you almost did play in the yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm not doing it no more. <laughs> So when you were, like, your son's age, were you, like, doing local singing gigs and that kind of stuff in Chicago? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Yes. Me and my best friend and I, we used to just go around and perform different places. I used to go to this club called The East of the Ryan and The Taste of Chicago, and they had drag shows. And so I would go in, and I'm like, ooh, let me sing for real. And then we would make all the tip money, and then I would have to split the money with Walter, and all the drags would dress me up, and I would go out there, and I would perform. Yes, honey. And it's like, wow. and I would give him his 10%. And the 
Taste of Chicago. I've been to that event. It's yeah. they got all the different food boots and you go around. Well, that's and eat. a different taste, though. Oh, now. that's a different taste of Chicago. <laughs> I'm talking about the club. Oh, okay. Oh, that's the name well, of the club. Yes. Oh, okay. You had the taste. So there's no banana pudding at this. No, one. ain't no banana pudding no. at that one. Okay. No, baby, not at all. <laughs> what songs would you sing? You know what? I even sang songs like "And I'm Telling You," which I was in Dreamgirls for, and things like that. Yeah, so that's yeah. Really wow. Um, I got a lot of my train in there, you know. I saw a thing with you and uh, Quincy Jones and Chance the, the Rapper. The Remova Theater in Chicago, on the south side of Chicago, we were able to reopen a theater. So now we want to see more performers and entertainers come through. And Chance just even recently performed there. So hopefully I'll get to perform there. This was a too. theater they were going to close down? They and did close they it did down. They did close it down. And we were just able to reopen it. It opened New Year's Eve. Wow. Yes, this past New Year's Eve. And so go make sure you visit it and look for performances. We're going to take a break. Jennifer Hudson is with us from The Jennifer Hudson Show. We'll be right back. We're back with Jennifer Hudson and the show. The Jennifer Hudson Show has been renewed for a third season. Congratulations. Thank you. Once you get to the third season, you're kind of in. That's how well, you know it's it's going, right? Yeah, I was going to ask you for some tips. Like, I feel now... I'm you don't like, need them. You've no. got three seasons. You know three what seasons. to do. You know how to do it. We've done over, let's see, 250 episodes at this point. So it's been a lot of fun. And I You just, count them, huh? Well, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. It, it's a celebration. Yeah, sure, yeah. The big ones, yeah, although it's funny, like here... We used to count them very precisely, and now it's like, oh, did you know we did our 4,000 show last Wednesday? And it's like, oh, oh okay, see, yeah. So that'll happen soon? Yeah, yeah, you just kind of, everything becomes just like less exciting, I yeah. guess. It's okay. like a marriage. That's what I have to look forward to. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <You know>. okay. <laughs> but it's a blast. I love the show. Speaking of that, by the way, you had an interesting guest on your show. You had Common on your show. I did. He was a fellow Chicagoan. <laughs> he is. And um, I watched this. You, uh, he came out, and um, you asked him if he was dating anyone. Yeah. And um, then he w he s described this woman that he's dating he and did. how happy he is. Uh -huh. And then he asked you a question. You describe this man you're dating, and then we realize uh, that you are dating each other. Is that what you gather? Because I that's thought he was dating Whippy Goldberg. We got. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't. Yeah, he did say an ego winner, which <laughs> narrows it down. To two people. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it hard with Common to interview him? Because I think when I know somebody really well, it's difficult for me to interview them because I kind of know everything that's going on in their life, and it, it feels fake. Well, no. In that case, I find it more difficult to interview someone I'm a huge fan of. Oh, okay. Which is most of my guests, uh -huh. obviously. But, like, that's when I freak out the most. Why? But I like people that I'm more familiar with because it's more like a, a conversation. I get you, but there's, there's a point for me, and of course, I'm not trying to force you to my opinion here, but for me, there's a, a point where it's like, oh, yeah, I already know the answer to this question. Like, I think you asked Common what part of Chicago he was from, Well, right? no, because... That was he, part of the game, He thinks right? he's from the south side. Uh -huh. I'm from the south side. He's from the east side. So... <laughs> You're saying this is some kind of um, stolen... It's a Chicago thing. Yeah, yeah. You get... he says he's from the, sh the South Side. He is not from the South Side. But I'm side. the true South Side Chicago. You're the real South so Side. So I was just saying, like, you're South Side. Um, I no, see. I'm South Side. He's... Okay, I, didn't, I did not you understand see? So that. it's a Chicago thing. You guys so... play um, husband and wife in this movie. Yes, we did a out. film, Brief. So look for that. And uh -huh. it's like kind of like a pandi pandemic with no oxygen. So imagine trying to survive that. And well, no, I... No one would. You see? Yeah. <laughs> but, but somehow, you know, we're great scientists and we figure it out. And then this is the first film where I get to be like a kind of like an action hero. It's like my first action. We have a picture. We don't have a clip, I guess. Something. The movie's yes, not it's, it's yet. not yet. Yeah. But that's yeah. Quivlin Janae, who plays my daughter, oh, yeah, Wallace, yeah. and myself in the film. And we're trying to survive. And you see our little oxygen mask on right there. So look for that. It'll yeah. be coming out. You're either really soon. trying to survive or on a really cool ski trip. <laughs> But it was a fun project. <laughs> Different, but fun. Jennifer Hudson is here. Uh, watch the Jennifer Hudson Show. We've in syndication. We'll be back with David Cross.